Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate floating static route. For this, I set up a simple topology. As you can see, here I have three Cisco routers, R1, R2 and R3. R1 have two links to reach R2 and R1 have one link to reach R3. In this particular topology, I am going to use second link, that means the serial, the cable is connected to serial 1 slash 1, to 1 slash 1 is used as a backup. Okay, first I need to configure IP addresses. For this, I already have configuration saved in text file. And the same text file is available to download from the links provided along with the descriptions below. So I only need to copy paste these configurations to respect your routers. Let's do it then. Okay now, IP address is configured and all the links are up. Next I need to configure static routes in all the routers. Here in router R1, second route is going to configure with AD value 10. By default first route get AD value 1. It means R1 always forward packets with the first route towards R2. Let's check the connectivity towards 191.6.0.3.0.0 network and I'm getting the reply. Okay, from the trace rules result, you can see uh, I'm tracing to 191.6.0.3.0.2 as you can see this uh, 191.6.0, the packet is forwarding through 191.6.0.1.2. Now I am pinging to 191.6.0.3.0.2 continuously. To check whether the second link is work automatically when the first link is down. To demonstrate this, I am going to shut down the S1.0 of router 2. Now you can see the link is down now and we, and we are waiting for the link is to up again. So let's see what will happen.
Now you can see R1 is communicating to R3 after a few seconds delay. Let's trace again towards 1916032.2. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and comment below and please subscribe to my channel to get more tutorial